everyone, welcome back. My name is Pooja and this is a Pilates sequence that will target the inner thighs. All you need for this sequence is a mat and a Pilates ball if you have one. If you don't, you can use a couple of thick cushions or a towel that you can roll up or even a couple of yoga blocks. And we're going to keep this away for now and start with our standing warm-ups. So let's get on top of the mat and keep our feet hip width distance. Keep the knees softly bent and start to draw circles with the hips. Just warming up the hips a little bit and breathing through our movements as always. Let's do one more in this direction and then switch over to the opposite direction. And keep breathing, keep your awareness where you're working in the body, so in the hips, keeping the knees softly bent. Last one. Good job. Come back to center. Bring the feet a little closer this time. Keep your knees softly bent, hands on top of the knees just to sense the movement. We're not pressing or putting any pressure. Imagine you have eyes on your kneecaps and those eyes want to really, really scan the entire room around you. So drawing circles with the knees in one direction. And then go anti-clockwise if you started clockwise. And breathe. Two more. All right, good job. Come back to center. Let's get into our plies. Heels are in, toes are slightly out at an angle. You have about three feet or three and a half feet in between um, your legs. Hands on the hips. First, we want to create length in the spine and make sure the neck is aligned with the spine. So tuck your chin in, ears in line with your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. All right, on your next inhale, bend the knees and press away as you exhale. Let's do that once again. This time, can you hold just for a second and imagine your tailbone going down towards the center in between both the heels. Your lower belly is engaged, your collarbones are wide, shoulders down, and your knees are nice and wide, tracking somewhere in between the second toes and the pinky toes. So you don't want them to cave in, press them out. So you really get that work into the inner thighs and up. Now we're going to keep moving here, all right? Make sure you keep your alignment, chin tucked in. You can either bring your hands in front of your chest like this, or you can cross your arms, bringing the hands to your opposite shoulders. Let's start. Inhale to lower, exhale, press back up, squeeze the glutes at the top, and up. Every time you're pressing up, really imagine pushing the ground away from you with both your feet, and then the sitting bones come together and you squeeze your glutes at the top. See if you can go a little lower each time and feel the work that you're getting into the inner thighs. Making sure the knees are out and not caving in and keep moving here with your breath. Exhale, press away, squeeze the glutes at the top. Let's remember to keep the neck aligned with the spine. We're not pressing the hips back. We're staying nice and upright through the spine. Feeling that work in the inner thighs. Let's keep moving. Keep breathing. All right, we're going to do two more and then we'll hold it at the bottom. Let's hold now, hold it there. Lift the right heel off the floor, lower. Keep the knees out and lower. The rest of the body stays still. Core is engaged, collarbones are wide and lower let's keep moving it's the same heel that's lifting and lowering we're staying on one side and breathe keep your neck long core engaged let's go for five and four three two one bring the heel down press away nice job release the arms give your legs a little shake if they need that and we're going to get straight into the other side lengthen through the spine take your arms in whichever position you you would like and is comfortable for you and let's go and up we're going to do just a few repetitions before we start with the heel raises and we're really focusing on more repetitions 
in this sequence, really getting that work in those muscles we're working on. And let's go for three and two. Remember, tailbone going down to that point in the middle of your heels. All right, let's stay low now. Can you go a little lower this time and lift the left heel and down. Lift, lower. Keep your heart lifted, collarbones wide. You should already start to feel those inner thighs firing up. Lift and lower. Keep going. Let's stay strong through the legs. Lift your heart, neck is long. Let's go for five, four, and three, two, one. Heel comes back down, press away from the ground, lift back up, release the arm. Arms, <laughs> shake out your legs. We've got one last round, and then we'll get onto the mat for the rest of our exercises. This time, we're going to hold it at the bottom and do little pulses, all right? So let's start, inhale, Exhale. Inhale lower, just five. And four. Three. Two. One, hold it at the bottom and little pulses. You can bring your arms forward for a little more. Keep your core engaged, ribs in. Let's go for 10, nine, eight. Little pulses, keep your knees out, tailbone down, collarbones wide. Five and four. Three, two, one. Last one. Can we hold it here? Can we go a little lower? Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Whoo! Shake out those legs and come to the back of your mat. We're going to roll down and then step it forward with our hands to come into our tabletop position. All right, feet are hip width distance, hands in front of your thighs. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, tuck the chin. Let your arms lead the way here. Let them really feel heavy. Keep your knees softly bent, round through the spine, scoop the belly in. Let the weight of your head and the weight of your arms draw you down towards the ground. And then when you're ready, look forward and slowly start to step your hands forward and drop the knees. All right, now from here, we're going to do our side lying sequence. Let's start with the left leg on top. So bringing your right hip down, come to this lying position on your right side. So we're, we have the left leg on top. And we're going to start with working on the inner thigh of the right leg. Now for the arms, there are a few options. You either support the head this way with the elbow bent, or if that's too much for your neck, you place a cushion and let the head rest. And last option, if you want a little more in the core, you're going to bring your right elbow under the shoulder and lift the waist off the floor, keep the core super engaged. But remember, even if you're here, you want to keep the core engaged by really visualizing the bottom waist lifting up and away from the ground so that your abs are engaged. Great, so once you've chosen your position, you're going to bend the left knee, so the top leg, and place the foot in front. So this is one option. The next option is to drop the knee if you want to make it slightly easier. So again, pick your level. Okay, and now we're going to really energize that right leg and we're going to lift and lower, working on those inner thighs. All right, so remember to energize the leg. So once you have your position, Keep the core engaged, collarbones wide, and let's go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Remember, you might not be able to lift too much because our inner thigh muscles tend to be quite weak, and this is why we have this sequence. Don't worry, with time you'll be able to lift higher. And the most important is to lift with control. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. If this starts to hurt your hip, you can roll slightly back on the more cushiony part of your buttocks, but try to stay lifted and keep your core engaged. Let's keep moving. Remember more repetitions. If you are on your elbow like I am, keep pressing away from the ground with your forearm. And lower, 
good. Let's go for maybe five more. Five and four and three, two, one. All right. We're going to keep it lifted now. Lift, keep it lifted, and we're going to point the toes and flex. Point and flex. Keep it lifted. Can you lift a little higher? And keep pointing and flexing. Feel those muscles work. Keep your core engaged. Lift a little higher. Whew. And let's go for five. And four. And three. Two. One. Nice job. Little, little, mini, mini break. Lower the leg down. And we're going to lift right back up now and hold it there with little pulses. So when you're ready, energize that leg, keep the core engaged, heart lifted, and let's go. Lift, keep it lifted, little pulses. <sighs> nice and controlled, little pulses. It can be a very small movement, but keep going. <sighs> core is engaged. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release, Whew, I know that was quite a bun. Take a mini break. We're going to stay on this side for one more exercise. So adjust your posi position if you need to. If your neck starts to get tired, remember, you can place a cushion on top of your arm and rest the head. Okay, so for this one, we're going to extend both the legs and bring them slightly at an angle forward. Hips are stacked this time. We're not rolling back. Hips are stacked. Imagine you have a cup of tea on the top hip that you don't want to spill. Pull the lower waist up and off the floor. Hand, left hand in front of you to support you. We're going to lift both the legs off the floor. So here, your inner thighs are working to keep the legs together, but also the sides of your waist are working, so your obliques. So you should feel all that engagement. Keep it lifted, lift the left leg slightly higher, and we're just going to lift and lower the bottom leg without touching the floor. Keep going. Imagine you have magnets in your inner thighs that keep pulling that bottom leg towards the top leg. Energize both the legs, keep going. More repetitions is the key word today. Let's keep moving. I know it's burning, that's the aim. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, whew, three, two, one. Can you keep them lifted and just swim the legs forward and back just a few times? This is a little bonus, wasn't planned. Five, four, Three, two, one, release. Ooh, that was a nice little challenge. Swing the legs over to the other side and lie down on your left side this time. So I'm going to start off with my elbow down. You can either pick that option or you can come down, of course. Make sure your core is nice and engaged. Left leg this time is straight, right, foot is in front or you can bend the knee and drop the knee so see which option suits you energize through the left leg and let's begin lower and lift let's go and one side is always a little weaker than the other notice if it's this side for you for me it is because it's my left leg so because it's a little more challenging for me on this side I'm going to choose to lower down, making it a little easier for me to lift. And remember, if it starts to hurt your hip, you can just roll slightly back, just a tiny bit, onto the cushiony part of your glutes. And let's keep going. You can either point or flex, it's your option here. And you can even bring your hand to the inner thighs and feel that. Um, muscle working or those muscles working let's go for five and four and three keep the core engaged two one last one nice job little mini 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 break and you know what's next we're going to point and flex let's go lift point and flex point and flex can you lift a little higher point 
and flex. Really use these muscles. Whew. Ooh, it is really challenging for me on this side. How about you? Whew. Let's keep going. Let's go for five more. Whew. And four. And three. We've got this. And two. One, maybe one last point and flex, lower down. And we're not done on this side. We've got the little pulses. So you can choose to drop the knee. Again, remember your head can come down on a cushion, but make sure you keep that engagement in the core so the whole body is engaged. All right, once you're ready, set yourselves up and lift and keep it lifted. So keep the left leg lifted now, little pulses. We should really start to feel that bun. <sighs> Little pulses, so it can be a very small movement. Let's keep going. <sighs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can we keep it lifted? Five, four, three, two, one. Whew, my inner thighs are on fire. Okay, we've got both the legs lifting now. So find your position, slight hinge um, in the hips here. So we're hinging the legs slightly forward. Hands, right hand forward, cup of tea lying on the top hip. Remember, you want to keep a nice and stable core is engaged. And energize the legs. Let's go lift, 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 lift. Lift the top leg a little higher and you're going to drop that le left leg and lift it back up. And up. Let's keep going. So try not to touch that left foot down. We're just bringing it to hover off the floor and lift back up. So visualize those magnets now on your inner thighs, pulling that leg back towards the top leg. Woo. If you roll back, roll back forward. You want to keep those hips stacked. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember that little bonus. Just swim the legs forward and back, scissor the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, come back to center. Good job, everyone. I know that it, must, it might be burning. We've got one last little set, and this is where we're going to use our props, so either the ball, the cushions, or that towel that you will roll up. Whichever you have, you're going to place it in between the legs, so just um, below the knees. So it's not the knees, it's just below the knees. So it's your inner thighs holding on to that prop. We're going to do just little squeezes first, so place that Prop in between your thighs, arms are by the sides. Take a moment to shuffle the shoulders towards the top edge of the mat to keep some length in the spine. And now you're going to squeeze the legs in, release. Squeeze, release. Hold for a second when you squeeze. Really feel those muscles work and release. Let's keep going. Make sure your core is still engaged. So you want to remember all the other Pilates um, cues that you already know if you've practiced with me before the ribs are in the belly button in, is in let's keep going every exhale squeeze hold it one second let's go for five and four and three two one can we hold that squeeze now really squeeze ten nine eight Seven, core is also engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew, nice job. All right, we're going to keep that prop where it is. We're going to do glute bridges now. Arms are by the sides. Feet are hip width distance. Press equally into both your feet. Inhale. On the exhale, scoop the belly in. Tailbone lifts off and lift the hips. Okay, when we're at the top, we're going to give that uh, Pilates ball or whichever prop, prop you've chosen and squeeze the thighs in. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips a little higher. Lower down, let the sitting bones widen. And exhale, squeeze everything in, inner thighs in, lower belly is engaged, glutes are engaged, and lower. Keep going with this. 
making sure that your feet are nice and flat on the floor and you're squeezing the glutes and the thighs in when you lift. Keep going here. You should feel it in your glutes, in your hamstrings, in your inner thighs. Remember to squeeze in when you lift. All right, let's do five more, five. Keep the core engaged, ribs in, belly button in, neck is long, back of the head is resting. Three, two, and one, keep it lifted. Little pulses, so you're going to squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Keep the glutes engaged, the hips high, ribs in, neck, chin away from the chest so that your neck is long. Whew, I know it's burning. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Keep it squeezed in. 5, 4, Three, two, one. Oh, release down. You can release the prop and bring your feet together. The soles of your feet touch. The knees are open out to the sides. Reclined butterfly pose just to give those inner thighs a nice little stretch. Breathe deeply. Allow your lower back to relax and your shoulders to relax. And we're going to finish off with just a little bit of core work together with inner thigh work. So for this, we're going to bring the legs out at a, um, at a 90 degree angle with the floor, so they're perpendicular to the ground. And we're going to start by just opening up the legs and then crisscrossing them. So one leg comes on top and then the other. And keep crossing them like this. If this is enough for you, you're going to stay here and I'm going to offer options. So either you stay here and this is enough with your core nice and engaged. Next option is to bring the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, keep the elbows wide and lift the head and the shoulders. Switch off your neck muscles and keep the head heavily resting on your hands. Elbows are not in like this, they're nice and wide, but you can still see them in your peripheral vision. And this is the next option. Crisscross the legs. So scissor the legs, keeping them perpendicular to the floor. And next option is to bring the legs at an angle and continue with this scissor movement. Keep your core engaged. Reach the belly button in towards the spine. Keep the elbows wide, look towards the center, lift the head and the shoulders. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Bring the knees in towards your chest, release the head and the shoulders, and Rock the knees all the way to one side. Let's stretch those inner thighs out to finish this sequence. And this time we're going to do the butterfly pose again, but seated this time. So bring your feet together, hold on to your toes, lengthen through the spine, and let gravity do its job here. Let, them, let gravity pull the knees down, lengthen through the spine on the inhale, and on the exhale, lean forward. So think of really reaching forward through the heart without rounding through the back. We want to really make this stretch all about the inner thighs and the hips. So we want to keep that length in the spine. Untuck the tailbone. Notice if you're, you tend to tuck the tailbone under. Untuck. Pubic bone comes forward and down. And let the knees drop. See if you can breathe a little more into your hips. Soften the inner thighs, send your outer hips back, and breathe here. Hold, feel that stretch in your hips, in your thighs. And then lift the chest, use your hands to guide the knees back together. You can stretch your legs forward and just bob the knees up and down a few times. Good job. 
Thank you very much for following along. I hope that you enjoyed the sequence. Please stay tuned for more videos. We'll be posting more videos um, for yoga, for Pilates, for other workouts. Subscribe to the channel so that you get to know whenever the next videos are out. And don't forget to like and share this video if you think anybody else could benefit from it. Thank you very much. See you next time.